Welsh Water staff have always been avid supporters of water aid and in 2004 we set the ambitious target of raising £1 million in the next 10 years. We're already halfway towards achieving this. All money raised by water aid in Wales goes specifically to projects in Uganda and to date 920,000 people have been helped by providing safe water, access to safe sanitation and hygiene education. This is the third time that somebody in Wales has been with water aid on the supporters trip and this year I was lucky enough to be chosen to go. I spent my time in Uganda travelling around to different areas. In the urban areas we went to the Kampala slums and saw some terrible, terrible, appalling conditions where people had to live there. We saw some awful sights. The smell was terrible. There were channels of dirty running water. The latrines were not fit for, for anything. Um, and later in the day we moved on to the improved areas of the slums. There was still a terrible place to live, but people actually had latrines, they had access to, to safe, clean drinking water. And the main thing that they were telling us is that the children were no longer dying. They weren't spending money taking children to doctors and you know, the health of the uh, people was, was so much better. The most memorable day was a visit to what they called a pre-intervention visit, where no help had been provided to the people living in these villages. Um, Water Aid has plans to go into the village next year and to help them, which was nice. I think it would have been difficult to cope with going into a village knowing that there was no help around the corner. I spent the day with a, a lovely family. Um, the leader or the head of the household was a 70 or 80 year old lady called Mariam and she lived with her daughter and her five grandchildren. Her husband had died recently and it was obviously, life was obviously going to be very, very tough for them. Mariam would go every day to the swamp to collect water and it was an hour's walk. We walked with her carrying a 10 litre container. When we arrived at the swamp, I just couldn't believe it. It was a metre and a half wide pool of dirty, brown, disgusting water. I thought I was doing them a favour by collecting 10 litres rather than 5 litres, but I wonder because the water was just so awful. As we were getting ready to, to leave and to go um, back to join the rest of the group. We saw one of the children grab a rooster. They brought the rooster up to us and asked us, did they want, did the, we want them to cook it and present it to us and we could eat it with them or will we take it back with us? So we chose to take it back. And then the following day when we visited another area, there was a lady there called Rose who lived with her, I think it was five children on her own and was just one of these self-help people. She'd been there two months, she dug this eight, ten foot latrine and she was really, really trying to help herself. She had no livestock so we presented the rooster to Rose and she was very, very pleased. So hopefully Larry, as he was named, because he sat on my lap, happy as Larry, went on to, uh, we hope, to live a happy life with Rose because she said she was going to get a hen and that would give her then a source of income and a source of meat. Our last field trip was to a village called Naya Kasagazi. Um, where Water Aid had been working very, very hard. They had a fantastic chairman who was in charge of the village um, and he motivated the people, he really did. In the space of six months, they'd gone from 0% uh, latrines to almost everybody. The atmosphere in the place was just so, so different. They turned out in their best clothes. There were celebrations, there was singing and dancing as we got off the bus and they were just so proud to take us around their homes. It was a wonderful place to go around. And when they were making the speeches at the end, one of Water Aid's partners was congratulating the village and saying how, when I came here six months ago, your children were so dirty and so ill and so sad. And now I look around and your children are clean. Um, and Water Aid's intervention there really has made a huge, huge difference. So that really ended the trip on a high because it made you aware of what could be achieved um, and how Water Aid had helped. This village now had safe sanitation, the children understood about hygiene, the people understood about hygiene and they had three safe water sources and were promised a fourth. The projects that we'd seen, you could tell that, you know, that people around would hear about them and hopefully it will motivate them and have a knock-on effect. So I really strongly urge anybody to raise money for water aid. It's a very worthwhile charity and no penny is ever wasted. For just £15 you can provide a person with sanitation, clean water and hygiene education for life. There are lots of events, lots of ways people get involved and of course the website can give you everything you need to know.